Hello guys, this is Star Crystal, I'm Susanna and I'm Eugene and you listen to That Metal Interview. Let's go together side by side, the rule is clear, the point is bright, infected, so swiss again. <laughs> That metal interview. If you are into the 80s movement, or should I say 80s rock, I don't want to say hair metal or glam rock, but it's around that same, it is around that same name. But anyways, this is rock that I'm introducing to you guys straight from the country of Ukraine, yes, Ukraine, the country that is in war with Russia, of course, but we don't talk politics on this podcast. It's only about rock, metal, and music, musicians, fan questions, and stuff like that. So, anyways, we have vocalist for Star Crystal, Susanna Radimovskaya, Radimovskaya, and bassist Eugene Todorash. I hope those are the right pronunciations. I'm sorry if I mispronounce those names. But anyways, Susanna, vocalist and Eugene, bassist for the band Star Crystal from the country of Ukraine, who are now living in Romania, as they tell us. Of course, obvious reasons uh, because of the war, right? Uh, They are in Romania as we speak. Maybe they're on tour. It's up to you guys to research. Look for them on social media to see where they are at and where they're playing at. So anyways, right now let's check out the song and video for Star Crystal. This is Come On Baby. We'll be right back.
isn't that an 80s sounding band and you know what these guys are in their 20s and as i told them they didn't exist in the 80s well they might have been born in the 90s maybe but they didn't exist in the 80s so they have no idea of living in that era in that generation if you will i was i was there i saw all those bands on headbangers ball mtv uh top 10 and all that stuff uh striper docking white snake warrant skid row bon jovi all the 80s movement of course journey and so on and so forth anyway so my point being these guys and girl are a lot younger and somehow they ended up playing and loving and having a passion for 80s rock isn't that cool i mean uh there's plenty of bands out there that are, are doing that kind of stuff crazy licks nestor of course star crystal amongst a ton of other bands fm and uh these guys are young and they have an old soul i guess so anyways that's so cool for me to to run into these kind of bands uh that are young and playing my kind of music from the 80s i was raised with so anyways so let's go directly to the interview with susanna vocalist and eugene bassist for the ukrainian rock band star crystal check it out where are you uh, what part of the planet <laughs> right now we are in romania uh, but uh, we are from ukraine our band from ukraine we all uh, from one city chernitsi and uh, now because of uh, war we came to romania and uh, live right now here well wow. it's hard to hear the, the situation there the whole world knows what's going on so we're sorry about that you know <laughs> okay so uh first of all uh, i'd like to start from the beginning from the start of your of your careers i guess let's start from childhood at what point did you guys well eugene when did you pick up a bass or a guitar and uh susanna uh when did you first know you could sing mm -hmm. okay uh, okay so I started to play on bass uh, when I was a teenager, when I was 16 years old. So it's, uh, but uh, I liked music uh, all my childhood and I wanted to play on uh, any instrument, but uh, I couldn't because I was shy to say that I, I like, to, I want to play. And uh, when I was 16 years old, I, my friend suggested to me, do you want to play guitar? And I said, yes, I want to play. <laughs> yes, and uh, I started to play on acoustic guitar. Um, we, um, uh, we were self-taught musicians. Uh, uh, I started to play on uh, acoustic guitar and then he, after three months he suggested maybe you play bass and I will play guitar and we will we'll be like a band. I said why not, okay. Yeah. And that's how I started to play on bass. So how old were you? Right the... now I'm 29. Oh no, no, when you, uh, the, the story you told me? 16, 16 years old. Okay. Uh, when to play. Uh, Susanna, what's your story uh, as childhood? When did you first know uh, you could sing? I'm for all my uh, life. I want to sing like Whitney Houston, and I start singing um, when I was uh, six years. And uh, for all time, I'm listen listened only Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Tina Turner. And um, uh, I, um, uh, she, tr she tried. I try to sing like Tina Turner with ah, and uh, um, when I uh, complete my band, started started complete my band, uh, we play uh, only heavy metal, and I singing like Tina Turner. Uh, but not with his system. Okay. Did you uh, build the vibrato over time or did you f 
Did you already have it when you were a kid, the vibrato, you know? Um, I don't know. I trying and yes, yes. When I was, she was uh, very young, young, yes. But you already had that vibrato. Yes, vibrato. We know. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Really? So you had it as a kid? Wow. When no. I was sixteen, I think she developed it. Not uh, like it was naturally she born with it, uh, but she developed it, but in a uh, young uh, uh, age. Can I ask uh, what, what uh, language that is that you guys are speaking? Uh, at speak home in Ukrainian. Yes. Okay, cool. Wow, Ukrainian. That's interesting. I like to uh, uh, listen to other uh, languages. That's interesting. That's cool. Yes, sometimes it's very interesting to... Yes. To listen how another language sounds and uh, to try to speak. Uh, we are here in Romania and we also uh, uh, doing it uh, every day. We listen to another language and try to understand something. And see, it sounds funny sometimes for us. <laughs> Learning, yes, Romanian language. Yes. Okay, so uh, how about bands? Uh, which bands got you into, into music? Um, uh, Mr. Big, Whitesnake, Bon Jovi, Aerosmith, John Dokken, Vixen, uh, 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 Motley uh, Crue. All the bands from 80s will like it and love it. I mean, you guys, uh, uh, you guys are in your 20s, you guys are pretty young. How did you end up with an 80s? sounding band like that i mean you weren't there in the 80s so uh how did uh you develop this passion and make a band that sounds like that like the uh, you know vixen or talking or when we watched the uh, movies and the series and the uh, very very interesting moments uh we watched tv uh, watch movies and uh, on uh, all the time we heard only rock and roll. Rock it, song uh, rock from song. 80s. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At, at very uh, emotional moments, they uh, like to put uh, very cool rock songs, and uh, usually how, uh, that's how we liked this style. You were attracted to the 80s sound, and not. It could have been. Uh, you're not attracted to the 2000s rock new metal sound you're not attracted to grunge that's cool wow yes when i for example for as me when i started to play on bass i played different genres and uh, i had to play for example grunge but uh, i i don't like it it's, i played because guys asked me to play and uh, susanna as she said she uh, tried to I think like Whitney Houston, Tina Turner and uh, other guys uh, from our band, they also um, more like it, uh, this 80 uh, style than other styles. Mm -hmm. But we uh, little, we all listen to different uh, genres, but main genre is of, of course uh, heavy metal from 80s. Whitney Houston and Tina Turner uh, have passed away. Did you ever meet them in person? No. Uh, no, no. We 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 had such chance uh, to meet them, but uh, we texted with another legends. Uh, for example, Susanna te texted with uh, Lorraine, Miles, Miles and uh, Lorraine Lewis. Yes. Lorraine. You know. Yeah, I've spoken to Lorraine Lewis. Former Vixen, former Femme Fatale, right? We're a nice person and a great, great vocalist, great singer, right? Yes. Uh, so what's behind the name Star Crystal? It sounds like a movie. It sounds like a, a planet, no, no. A Star Wars or something. It's like expensive champagne crystal. And we put uh, a lot of... Uh, no, uh, I would say like this, that uh, at the first uh, thing it was like uh, expensive champagne crystal, yes. yes, but then 
um, Susanna and Alex guitarists decided to add a little bit rock to it, so uh, sh it should sounds like uh, rock uh, bands. So they put rock like, star, like rock star, yes, but oh, yeah. star so it's a little bit similar. So that's how we uh, came up with this name. It sounds like a a, a rock band now. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So you guys released a couple of singles in the past couple of years. Wild Wind, uh, Come On Baby, Come On. Those are the last two that we can find, us fans can find on Spotify and, and uh, streaming services. Are those two songs uh, part of a future album or, or are you guys just doing a bunch of singles? We, we have not only singles, we have two albums also. Uh, right, yeah. Follow Me and uh, Revival of Glam. Glam is our uh, albums and uh, two singles as you mentioned and also uh, we are planning to release uh, in future one more song i think this month we will release new song uh, power of love so check uh, check it out on spotify and uh, all other streaming platforms music streaming will those two singles and the new one be on, a, on an album in the future or because they're not on the old albums Yes yes, 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 it will be a new album. Yes, we already recorded uh, how many? Uh, uh, we recorded four songs. Uh, three songs. Ah, uh, so, yes, three, three songs. songs and created also four, four already. And uh, we want to record, to uh, create a couple of songs and we will release a new album. Uh, and also we recently Actually, before war, we finished our studio in Ukraine, and we uh, wanted to where we wanted to create our album, but uh, it's still there, and we are here, but uh, we will still release it. Where it's our plans to release it. So, just in near future, uh, one more single from us. Nice. Looking forward to it. I like your music. Thank I'm in, you. Very I'm into 80s. I'm an 80s fanatic. Yes, yes. 80s, as always. Yes. It can be pop. It can be rock, metal, uh, hip hop. It's more. It's more. Uh, I would not say rock, but uh, like heavy metal. But yes, heavy metal. Yeah. So, do you guys, when you guys are recording, recording a song in the studio? Do you listen to other bands just to hear, have a different uh, perspective or do you just not listen to music and go directly to record? Um, we listen only um, a big uh, band like... Um, no, yes, we listen only big uh, bands like Mr. Big, a Motley Crue, because, White snake, yes. because we want to be in this style, we always... Uh, we don't want to go out of the sound. We want to sound like them. Uh, we want to sound like them, like 80s, like these big bands. And uh, we're also searching for different bands uh, who played similar music. Uh, and that's why we listen before creating... Um, yeah. Before creating a song, we listen to be like them because we really love that style and that era of music. I spoke to the singer for uh, a band called Nestor. Oh yes, we know Nestor. Yeah, he has a similar sound to you guys. Uh, the '80s keyboard thing, yes, yes. The, the whole '80s sound, real nice, just like you guys. And so uh, my question is, you say you listen to. Mr. Big uh, and all these 80s bands to sound like that. The keyboard player sits there and takes out, picks out the songs, right? The sounds that you guys like. And don't do this sound, let's do this sound, which uh, you guys do that, huh? We listen to their sounds also and uh, try to find or similar or so it, because of this uh, 80 sounds of keyboards, it's uh, very key. Uh, he uh, sound to the 80s music we think like this that's what uh, keyboards very important 
so how do people react live do people enjoy the 80s sound or do you get some bad bad comments and some people walk away or how is that looking in uh, in your part of the world right a very loud yeah. yes very loud and uh, uh, after concert uh, we give a, a lot of uh, a sing, a sign and uh, a lot of uh, photo and uh, after concert we had a lot of uh, friends uh, in social media and um, they really like and say uh, us all, all the time that they love uh, this IT sound uh, and that we are making what they want to hear by, uh, so they're very happy to hear that as far as the lyrics, uh, who's the lyricist? Is it you, Susanna, or who's the person in charge of the writing the lyrics for the songs? Um, we all, uh, we all, all back. Yes. Uh, the lyrics. Uh, all uh, has uh, different ideas uh, that we bring together and create lyrics. Wow, oh, very cool. Do you guys warm up? Uh, before a, a live show or before the studio, you guys warm up or you just go up there and you rock it out in studio or live? Yes, yes, of course. Uh, um, it's very important. Before a studio, before a stage, yes. Like any professional, for example, uh, sportsmen, uh, they <laughs> need to warm up. And like that, musicians need to warm up. Susanna needs to warm up her voice, and we are. Alex famous. on guitar, Eugene on guitar. Um, yes, yes, it's very important because muscle need, needs to work well. When you guys are writing lyrics, uh, do you just write what comes to your head, or do you base it on the bands that you mentioned, like Mr. Big? And do you sit there and rewind Mr. Big songs? Or do you guys just write down all the lyrics that you guys are coming up with fresh? Uh, no, no, all the lyrics uh, we um, we don't uh, uh, listen to other bands when we write lyrics. We just uh, try uh, trying to write what we will, what want. To, how, how this uh, a song is sound? That's how we try to uh, write lyrics uh, for this song. Um, how, uh, we we like creating a music at at, uh, at first, and then we try to uh, to think what lyrics uh, should fit this um, song, this music, and then we try to create uh, lyrics uh, to this uh, melodies. Do you guys just play original songs live, or did you guys ever play cover songs like copy songs? No, no. We don't play only covers, our only songs. songs. Really? Never, never, not even when you started, never copied? Never. Wow. That's cool. So you guys, you guys already had that mindset. You guys had an agreement. You know what? We're just doing original stuff. We're not going to copy White Snake or whatever. This is what we're going to do. And wow. Very cool. Yes. We don't play other, uh, other, uh, we don't do covers because, um, we all played in cover bands, and we know what is it uh, before Star Crystal. So our support uh, on uh, every concert. Yes, they do Sometimes, covers. Yes, uh, um, play only covers. Yes, they play covers, and we don't need to play <laughs> covers. They, yeah, they, 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 they. you're hitting the right way. That's good. You're hitting the right way. Uh, the the main also problem, uh, as you see in. Uh, our home, hometown is that uh, there are a lot of covers and a uh, very small amount of uh, um, own uh, ar artist music, their own music. Uh, they don't create uh, music their own. So uh, we, we don't want to be like everyone from our town and play all, all the same covers all the time uh, it's boring for us yeah it's already on spotify for people so so yes. uh, which is your favorite song to play live both of you 
Как песня тебе больше нравится играть на рыбу? Uh, In I, um, I think it's... Um... Come on, baby, come on. Uh, don't give up and wild wind. Yes, in our shows we usually come on, baby, come on, play a lot. I, I like set. Uh, wild wind, um, power of love, dancing all night, and come on, baby. Come on, baby, yes. Cool stuff. It's our Finnish uh, program. Yes. I like. Something and show. I like all your songs. You got some cool songs. Uh, probably because it's it sounds like the 80s and and Susanna has a good voice you know you sound great the band sounds great you guys sound tight and original there's a, a couple of songs on the your your album follow me I like love song uh, the slow one can you guys talk about that what is that about love <laughs> yes yes <laughs> <laughs> uh, many of our songs are about love about feelings uh, yes. so Mm, nothing special uh, about them, but uh, there are some songs that has some meaning to us. Uh, for example, "Don't Give Up," "Don't Give Up," um, uh, very special song for us because lyrics. Uh, it's like um, uh, what situation that happened uh, in uh, Alex uh, guitarist's life. And uh, we wrote about this uh, songs, and um, yes, yeah, some of some of songs are just uh, talking uh, lyrics about love, about feelings, and some are special for us. Have you guys done small tours around uh, your area or Europe, or do you guys just do a couple of festivals and go back home or a club, go back home? Uh, we had um, a tour in uh, this years, this year in um, Europe, and uh, a lot of uh, summer we had uh, eight festivals. Eight festivals. Uh, something like that. Yes, eight festivals. Mm. I think uh, next tour uh, it will be in 2025. It's. Uh, Romania and uh, it's first tour and yes, yes, maybe in future also Europe. When we play, uh, when we go on tour, we try to um, to take as many countries as we can. Uh, so it's not small tours. Uh, the last uh, tour that was in April, uh, we played in um, in Germany, in Belgium in France, uh, in um, Italy, Italy, yes, so in Poland and in Romania, so we try to make big tours. Uh, nice, that's a, lot of, that's a lot of countries right there, wow, you guys have been around. Yes, uh, we try to make such big uh, tours. Um, previously we played in Switzerland, uh, we played um, Sweden, uh, Hungary, yes, a lot of country. Maybe one day uh, we'll see you in the U.S. <laughs> Maybe. We, yes. We really like to play. Do you guys prefer to play uh, festivals or do you prefer to play uh, pubs and clubs? Uh, I think uh, uh, in summer, yes, it's festivals, but. Um, uh, in the winter, it's uh, only clubs. Only clubs, <laughs> yes. Which is your favorite? Uh, to play the club, or you want to play? Do you like to play at festivals better? Festivals. Festivals. Yes. Why is that? Because of the people, or, or? Yes, yes. I see a lot of people, and um, very good uh, weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen your videos on YouTube. And uh, you guys are good. You guys rock out. Uh, the people react. They're like, damn, that's, you know, they're checking you guys out and it sounds cool. So you guys are going places for sure. Uh, 
I want to ask about the the hat, Susanna. It's it's become a signature. Uh, it's a part of the of the look already. It's cool. It looks cool. How long have you been doing that the hat for? Since the beginning of uh, the band, or, or? Uh, since twenty. Since the beginning. Yes, yeah, since band. the beginning. Then. Yes, it's a sign of our band. Cool. Uh, how many different colors do you have? Uh, uh, what do you mean that we played? Uh, how many uh, uh, color hats? How many ca uh, colors do you have? Uh, sorry, I spoke with you. Uh, four. Four. I've seen you wear a red one. Uh, and right now you have black, a gray one. White and uh, gray. gray. Yes. Very cool. Wow, nice. It's a cool look. It's cool. It. There you go. Nice. So we're looking <laughs> forward. Not found. Cool. Yeah. Uh, she wants to find to find the pin, but uh, she can't. It's impossible right now. Maybe online you can find to go to. Uh, yes, I found. The yeah. If you guys could open up for a tour for a band, which band would it be? What's your dream tour to open up for a certain band? Which band would you uh, like to do that with? A lot of uh, bands from eighties. White Snake, Mr. Big, uh, Wixen, um, Dokken, uh, etc. Europe, Europe. Yes. Europe. Europe, yes. How many rock stars have you guys met? Any big bands? Uh, any big names? Uh, Halloween. Um, Halloween. Actually, Nestor. Um, Crazy Leaks, uh, we played them on one uh, stage. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Once, know. once uh, uh, you know, there is a fest called Nestor Fest, and once we uh, had to play there, but we have problems with war and uh, uh, leaving our countries because our country because of war and we had to cancel uh, our uh, show at Nestor Fest and we had to record our uh, like 20 minutes and in our studio how we played for this fest and they translated uh, our video on their uh, uh, screens. The screen? Okay. So you were there in, in a video form. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. The people still saw you, so that's that's cool. Do you like meeting fans, or do you guys finish the show and, and run to the van? Or how are you guys? No, no, no. Um, we go to we fans. go to fans and uh, uh, give uh, a sign and uh, speak, make a photo, speak, speak with, with fans. Them. Yes, yes. So you guys are friendly. You guys are friendly rock stars. Very <laughs> friendly. Yes. Okay, uh, here's a sci-fi question. If you guys could time travel uh, into the past or the future, where would you travel to and what year? You say <laughs> next year. <laughs> uh, it's I think it's <laughs> USA and uh, Latin America. Um, uh, in, uh, in past, and yes. past. Ah, okay. I think it's USA. Okay. From eighties. From eighties, um, uh, when uh, a lot of uh, our a big band to start. Yes, when they start. So yes. Like the eighties. Go go club. Yes, in in LA. You would like to see uh, some of your heroes. To see how they started in the 80s, Sunset Strip and all that. Very cool. Yes, yes. yes. I would do the same. I would try to go back there and go check out Dawkins or Warrant or one of those. Yes. Uh, one of those bands, right? Quiet Right or Poison. Uh, before we let you go, would you like to send a message to your to your friends and uh, the new fans discovering Star Crystal? Uh, a message you want to tell the people about the band or about yourselves? Yeah, so listen to rock, be loved, be safe, and... And travel in past with our band, because we play metal from 80s. Nice. Very cool. 
so thank you guys thank you for your time and thank you for chatting uh you have some great great music you. you're doing good with the music and you're going places so hopefully uh we'll see you guys in the u.s uh one day yes we would like yes thank you guys and uh we promise keep rocking thank you for your time you too thank you what a chat what a conversation thank you guys Susanna, and thank you eugene for the great in-depth conversation and chat uh, sharing stories of star crystal how they started and giving us a current update on the band see what's going on and telling us why they decided to play originals instead of copying and playing a bunch of cover songs like a lot of bands right so these guys are going to a lot of places they're going to grow big they have an awesome awesome sound check them out star crystal the way it sounds star crystal look them up on social media support them if you see them or see a flyer that they're playing close to your town your city go check them out talk to them they are very very nice people and very respectful and they rock they'll rock your face off so anyways these are the musicians in the band that were not in the interview max rusnak on drums we have guitarist alex nasarov vocalist Susanna Nadimovskaya, if that's the correct pronunciation, I'm sorry. And of course, our other guest, bassist Eugene Todorash, forming Star Crystal. Anyways, awesome stuff. Congratulations, guys, on a great, great music career and great, great music. So rock on, and hopefully we'll see you guys in the U.S. sometime soon. And check them out and support them. You go see them live, uh, go to their merch table and purchase something, support them, go chat with them, shake their hand and go talk to them, take a picture and stuff like that, right? Cool. So anyways, as far as the podcast, don't forget to uh, subscribe, ring the bell, follow us on social media at That Metal Interview, uh, Facebook, X, Instagram, uh, YouTube, of course, That Metal Interview Podcast. Thank you guys and girls one more time and don't forget to keep it metal. That middle interview.